What is cracking, y'all? It is the web stylist, Sterling Williams with uh, sitesbysterling.com, styling you for worldview. Check that up right up in that area. So today's online tutorial is going to be about um, Gmail signatures, how you can make a custom Gmail reply from signature. One, you link it up to your domain, but also how to put a cool little you know, your website, your business info, and an image in a Gmail signature and mask it all so all they see is, uh, you know, your name at your domain name, your company domain name, et cetera. So once, say you got a domain at uh, GoDaddy. It usually comes with some free email forwards, right? And you click up in here and you go, you know, I kind of have a lot, um, to whatever... Uh, Let's see, let's, let's jump over here actually. So you click, you go to your control panel, you click email, it jumps you to this section. So it seems a little confusing, well, mine especially with quite a few, but you go to create a new account, and the trick is right here, forwarding. You just wanna to go to forwarding, it's free. Don't, don't be afraid, it's all good. So um, say you put in, uh, one of my domains is original for life. So we go sterling at original. Oh, there it is. Spells it out for you. And then to what email address? And I'm going to hide my Gmail address here. So you basically type in, um, there we go, my name at gmail.com. If you make it a catch-all account, say you own the domain, right? If they do contact at, booking at, uh, my homegirl at, uh, pimpstyle at yourdomain.com, everything is going to go to where you forward it, i.e. your Gmail. Very cool. Uh, forget the enable auto-reply, not a fan of that. Um, so you just hit create, um, and when that happens, we're going to jump over to Gmail. So I'll be back. All right. So once that goes through, like I said, give it about an hour, maybe two if you want to be safe. And uh, you go over to your Gmail, love Gmail. And this little box right here, regardless of whatever page you're on, you go to this little section right here and go to settings. Bing. Hey, I know that guy. Is that the Clark Kent of fashion? No, it's the web stylist. So, uh, okay, so you want to go to accounts and import right in this region and go, oh, you know what? I would love to send people emails, but they don't see my Gmail. They see my name or booking at, info at, contact at, my domain. That would be so awesome. So you click this. So then this little window pops up, which is associated with your Gmail. And you go, you know what? I own um, your domain, which is what you just set up in GoDaddy. And let's see. Um, actually, my bad. That's what I'm talking about. So you go to next step. And it's going to confirm. So now that you've already linked it up to GoDaddy, of course, this is going to loop back around as it's confirming. So send through Gmail. Don't, don't click the SMTP servers here. That's when it gets a little confusing. Um, so keep it simple. Just go send through Gmail, which is our whole point here anyway. Next step, send the verification. Bam! hoo Okay, so then you... Go back and check your email, and there'll be a verification uh, link. So we'll be okay, back. Okay, so now we go to our Gmail, and we see in our inbox the confirmation. This, my friends, is called the money. So you can click this link to confirm and link it all together, or go back to that little window there. Ah, why? Just click this, nice and easy. And give it a few seconds. Oh, that's the money. That's the happy whistle right there. So literally, as soon as you see this, you can start composing. So you go to a fresh email. And 
any of your names at your domains that you've set up in the same way will be in the dropdown. So we go to Sterling at Original for Life. Ooh, there it is already. Just took a few minutes. But there is no custom signature here. That's not very good looking. That's not very professional. So that is also the next tutorial. I'll show you how to set up a number of uh, any, any of your domains can have a different um, reply from not just name, but uh, signature in the bottom here. So again, the next tutorial, holla at uh, Facebook, Twitter, and for sure, my YouTube, because that's where these videos, and at sitesbysterling.com, the web stylist, Sterling Williams, coming at you. Stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video.